Good morning, my name is Steve Hallett and I'm the curate at St Frideswise Church in Water Eaton. It's good to be with you today. Something happened to me last week that I wanted to share with you. I was at a petrol station and this person in front of me had finished filling up their car but they just sat there and I was thinking, what are you doing? They seem to sat for ages. Do, do they not know I'm waiting? I don't know if that's ever happened to you but it seems to me that I've become more impatient since we've been in lockdown and I'm struggling to, to wait for things. I, I was really conscious of this this week, um, talking to people who, uh, well, a bit like me, waiting for a, waiting for a, for a lockdown haircut, um, waiting to get into Ikea, waiting to go and get your burger from <laughs> McDonald's who, who opened. But I'm also conscious that for some, there is real stress and anxiety in the waiting of this lockdown, whether or not that is uh, about the virus or about what new normal might, might look like, or just waiting to meet up with family and friends. I read something the other day, the Christian apologist Ravi Zacharias talked about steadying the soul when the heart is under pressure. And I don't know about you, but even though I've got more time on my hands, my soul feels unsteady and my heart feels under pressure. I need God-given strength as I grow faint and weary with lockdown. So how do we do that? That's what I want to explore a little bit this morning. And maybe one way I, I'd like us to consider is that we ask, what God is saying to us and look to make the most of this waiting time. In our verse today, in verse 31, it reminds us that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Walk here in this, um, in this verse means confident expectation almost like an eagerness restlessness like an individual individual of constantly looking perhaps constantly looking for for god to speak to us and also the word renew is about cause to flourish again or revive or restore our strength so what this verse is saying is that waiting is good for us and that great things happen when we wait on God. The first thing it talks about is that we will soar on wings like eagles. And I love that analogy of an eagle. It's a most magnificent bird. It's a symbol of great strength and power. You know, they have a 10 foot wingspan and can soar up to 80 miles an hour. They live on higher ground and can fly through st storms on the thermals. And they actually fly higher than any other bird. So what this verse is saying, I think, is that by waiting on God, we soar on wings like eagles. So for me, that's like we see things differently. We see things perhaps from a heavenly perspective. We, we look down from high up. But also the verse talks about run. Now the average runner I think runs at about 12 to 15 miles an hour, something like that. It depends on how much of a runner you are. I, I'm not much of a runner. Um, I've got a bit of a dodgy knee. If I started running now, my legs would hurt and I, probably wouldn't even make a mile but I know some people really enjoy it I mean just imagine if you could run a marathon and not grow weary Isaiah is saying that through our waiting on God he upholds and sustains us so we can seem to run through life and hardly notice the effort and then he talks about walking Average speed of walking is, what, about three miles an hour? So that 
It says, when we wait on the Lord, we are strengthened in our walking. We won't grow faint, but just walk. I, I would much rather soar and run. The truth, though, is that we spend more time walking. And life can be hard and can often feel faint. By waiting on the Lord, we renew our strength for every day. And did you notice the decreasing speeds that the eagle soars at 80 miles an hour? Average running speed is about 10 miles an hour. We walk at about three miles an hour. Well, what if we reverse that order? I wonder if we considered waiting as zero miles an hour. So if in a sense, when we wait upon the Lord, we renew our strength, it builds us up from zero miles an hour so we can learn to walk without fainting so that we can then build up to run without being weary to then soar on eagles' wings and have that heavenly perspective. But it starts at zero miles an hour. So I wonder what would happen if we stopped and waited upon the Lord. Maybe we could start with 10 minutes every day. Maybe just to pray, to sit in silence, to read God's word, to wait in confident expectation that God will speak to us. It's a reminder to me that the next time I'm waiting at a petrol station that maybe even pray for the driver. Um, so however we're handling this lockdown and maybe whatever we're waiting for, I pray that we can find time in our daily lives to sit quietly in God's presence and wait. You see, I'm comforted and know that God is with us in our waiting and promises that those who wait upon him will be strengthened. There, we steady the soul when the heart is under pressure. And I want to leave you with part of a prayer from the Iona community. You keep us waiting, you, the God of all time, want us to wait for the right time in which to discover who we are, where we must go, who will be with us, and what we must do. So thank you for the waiting time. So I pray that you will be strengthened as you wait on the Lord in this waiting time. Amen.